The show is on. John Ford. Radio. It's the Evening Rancor, the daily podcast from that guy who talks about stuff, John Ford. Any links mentioned on the show are available at John Ford. Radio. Welcome to the Evening Rancor, the John Ford podcast. Here's your friend again. I'm gonna pray for y'all. Time to relax and forget each day. Man, take this out. But, but, but. Here is entertainment for you. Well. You'll find it so enjoyable too. <laughs> so listen to all from beginning to end, cause your friend. Something smells around here. John Ford is here again. Well, I hope everybody made it through the Thanksgiving holiday in, uh, in one piece. I know the turkey didn't. <laughs> Yeah. Man, I'm still chowing down on my uh, turkey that I made for, for Thanksgiving. I wonder if you are too. How long can the thing actually last in the refrigerator? Five days? Three days? A week? A month? No. I've got one of those ceiling baggy things, you know, where you suck the air out of... You know, here I go again. Where I suck the air out of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> and this is supposed to be a clean program. And, you know, then you can freeze stuff, you know? And I, this other thing that I bought for, um, I like cooking, just so that you're aware. You're a loony. This other thing I bought is a multi-pot. Now, what's the other word they have for them? It's, um, there's like one particular brand that's real popular. I can't think of what it is off the top of my head. Somebody will, somebody will let me know. But basically, it's like an electric pressure cooker. If you don't have one of these, man, and you like to cook, you got to get yourself one. So it's an electric pressure cooker. You can also, uh, uh, you can also do like slow cooking, like a crock pot in it. Well, this is exciting stuff, isn't it? You can also uh, saute with it. Uh, you can do a lot of other things, but I've made a lot of different things with it, man. It's very cool. I mean, you can make like beans. Extra beans means extra flavor. If you're into beans, if you're a beater, you can make beans without pre-soaking them. Uh, isn't it funny? This excites me. Without pre-soaking them in about, you know, 15, 20 minutes, right? The, the total cooking time, because you got to let it come up to pressure, get the pressure, sock it to the beans, and then depressurize and then take it apart. Uh, maybe 50 minutes to an hour. Multi-pot. Give me a break. Wonder pot. Sit on the pot. Smoke some pot. I forget what it's called. My, mine is called uh, Hunga Bunga. I, I don't know. I did a lot of research into it. Let me look this up on the internet. But it's a great way... Multi pot. It's a great way to uh, to cook. Instant pot. That's the one that's real popular. Now the one I got is the Mealfy Multi Pot, and I'm not doing a commercial for them. But I did a lot of research beforehand, and it seems to me that was the one that got the uh, the most big thumbs up. So it got got the most reviews. And you can get them now for about a hundred bucks. But for like making soup, I've been using the leftover turkey, man, to make all kinds of stuff. You know, like turkey concrete. No, not really. Uh, like uh, turkey soup and turkey tetra hoo ha and uh, turkey this and turkey that. Yeah, I'm almost I'm almost sick of turkey uh, for another couple of weeks, and then I'll make another one for Christmas. That's how it works, right? That's how we Americans do things. So I would highly recommend picking up one of those multi-pots or meal fee pots or instant pot or whatever the hell you want to call it. Putting it on your Christmas list if you like cooking. And it's even if you don't like cooking because it, uh, you know, it reduces the cooking time. You just kind of throw everything in there and pfft, there it is, man. It's done. Every morning I wake up. Thank God. Knock on wood. Every morning I wake up and one of the first things I say to my significant other is, well, let's turn on the news to see if uh, Donald Trump hasn't blown up the world yet. This morning, I said something different. I said, let's turn on the news to see if Putin hasn't blown up the world yet. This stuff in the Ukraine is getting kind of out of hand, man. Yes. It's almost like the Soviet Union never fell. And we're still dealing with Stalin. You know, it's like Putin is Stalin. Stalin is Putin. They're interchangeable. But it sure looks like he's getting ready to invade uh, the Ukraine. And as we all know, Ukraine's strong. <laughs> I don't know if he wants to go there. He certainly has enough uh, old Soviet military hardware and some newer airplanes and stuff and, you know, alleged super weapons. Sounds like somebody else we know. You know, if we go back to the 1930s and 40s, 
that had all these, you know, alleged miracle weapons. But it's kind of scary, you know, knowing that, you know, we all have nukes. We've got nukes. They've got nukes. India's got nukes. Pakistan's got nukes. Psst, don't tell anybody, but the Israelis got nukes. And let's face it, Europe is not going to do a damn thing. They're not going to lift a finger to help the Ukraine. They get all their gas from, what is it, Gazprom, from the Ruskies. Every morning I wake up and, you know, I think I'll turn on the news and it'll be like a game of risk. The Putin will have invaded the Ukraine again. It seems to me he's just going to keep taking little nibbles off the corner until, you know, he just, he's just, you know, just a little nibble here. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing much. I didn't want to take a nibble here. Take a little bit of that Crimea. Take that off of there. And then I'm going to nibble around the edges of the Black Sea. And, you know, I'm just going to take a little piece here, a little piece there. And I, yeah. Kind of like somebody else did in the late 1930s. History does repeat itself. History does repeat itself, unfortunately. It kind of like after you eat Brussels sprouts. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today's evening ranker. I'm busy. I got stuff to do. I'd love to share more things with you and shoot off my big mouth a little more because that's what this is all about. Unfortunately, I've got dinner to make. I gotta go use my multi pot, make some borscht, and invade Poland. I'm the happiest guy. He's the luckiest guy. Cause I just bought a new Ford. From a wonderful dealer. Wow, what a dealer! For a Ford or a fine used car. It's not the Russians, it's Rumble Rama. It's the John Ford Podcast, the evening rancor.